What is the difference between a Bloody Mary and a Caesar? Not everybody enjoys tomato juice, but I do. And um, the great thing about a Caesar that I love is that you could go out to brunch and you can order a Caesar and no one will think you're an alcoholic. If you order a rum and coke, they might look at you weird, like, what is this guy doing? But if you order a Caesar while you're at brunch, or a Bloody Mary for that matter, it's not a problem. No one thinks it's a problem. You can't really get super smash off of a Caesar or a Bloody Mary, at least you shouldn't. It's not even the alcohol at that point, it's just way too much tomato juice. But what is, what is the difference between um, a Caesar and a Bloody Mary? and vice versa. Well, it comes down to one little thing, and it's this, it's Clamato juice. What is Clamato juice? Well, it's tomato juice, but it's made with um, a variety of spices and also clam broth. I know it sounds really weird, clam broth, but I say give it a try, give it a try. I know any sort of seafood liquid kind of thing is, it's kind of, you know, I don't know about this, but really, if you ever get your hands on Clamato and you're not sure and you really like tomato juice, try it out. That is the very basic difference between a Bloody Mary and a Caesar. It is Clamato juice, because you could get regular tomato juice, which is what Bloody Mary uses anywhere. Actually, to be honest, at the store, it, in I live in Vancouver, even though I have a great corporate America flag up there. It was easier to get Clamato uh, than tomato juice. There was only like, this is like, look, look at this, it's like dog food. I think Bloody Mary is a wonderful name for a drink. It's such a good name for a drink. It's, it's kind of accurate, it is like blood, and it's a little dark, which I like. It reminds me of this urban legend when I was a kid, and it really scared me. You're, sitting, you're standing in a bathroom and you're looking in the mirror and you say Bloody Mary three times while flicking the lights on and off and then you're supposed to see Bloody Mary, Mary Tudor, s standing there right in front of you. Um, I don't know much about uh, the British monarchy back then, but it was still quite scary. Either way, great name for a cocktail. Uh, the Caesar. Caesar was invented in Calgary. Calgary, Alberta, Canada. The thing about Caesar today is that it, it has become a little bit of a novelty drink. Uh, you see people almost building a meal on top of the Caesar as a garnish. It's a little ridiculous, I know, but that is what is happening in this world today. Okay, let's make the drinks. Today, I'm gonna to start off with the Bloody Mary. So, Bloody Mary, what do we need here? So, I'm gonna grab my glasses, which are chilling, as per usual. See, you're gonna to have to salt the rim. So, I'm gonna just set this one aside here. So, you gotta do that before you put any ice in it. Otherwise, you can't really salt the rim, and it becomes a whole thing. So, I like to wet it with uh, a piece of lime sometimes. I'm, I got lime here, but I'm gonna use this later. So I'm just gonna use this tap water. There we go. A bit of sea salt and pepper. I'm gonna grind some here. I've already poured some salt in there, so. Just give it a little spin to salt the rim. Here you go. Here you go. Everything's blocking away. You can't even see. I like to pour some ice first, and I guess now, now I can toss some ice in here. Perfect. So, for Bloody Mary, vodka base. So I am going to need an ounce and a half of vodka. Uh, a quarter ounce of lemon juice. I have this prepped already. There you go. Then we have the fun stuff. We've got Worcester sauce and hot sauce. I'm running out of Tabasco here, but 
just have to deal with it. A couple dashes. That might have been three. I don't know. Someone, someone at home counted for me. And Worcestershire sauce. It's asking for uh, four dashes, but obviously you know your taste better than me. Adjust it if you need to. Not everybody loves this stuff. Oh, geez. So no hard feelings if you don't really enjoy it. And tomato juice. Give it a little shake. We're going to need four ounces of it. You don't want to shake this drink because it'll add too much air to it and it becomes weird and bubbly and you don't want that. So we're going to do a technique called rolling where you're just sort of sliding it back and forth. There you go. There you have it. Nice, happy Bloody Mary, but it's not done yet. In honor of this drink, got a little bacon, bacon to it. That's how you do it. Next up, let's do this um, Caesar. <laughs> we'll do the same thing, except this time, instead of salt and pepper, I am gonna use some spices, some fun spices. This is actually a Caesar rim. This is made for Caesar. But I like to add some um, rub spices, rubs, I think it's what it's called. Uh, this one's from The Keg, which uh, I believe is a Canadian steakhouse. Try it, try whatever you want at home. It's really, there's no wrong way to do it. Give it a little twirl here, make sure it sticks. All right, that's not as good as I want it to be, but so is life, so is life. Right, we're gonna do it all over again. We need an ounce and a half of vodka. Boom, perfect. And then we are gonna use the same thing, these uh, b -b -b spices. It's a Tabasco, so I'm gonna use one solid dash of it. That's two, I use two. Use it to taste, whatever. Or just your sauce, just the sauce. I can't really say it properly. I have a lisp, four dashes. And Clemato juice. And we're gonna have four ounces of that. You want to, um, you wanna put your uh, Tabasco and Worcestershire sauce in first so that it actually melt, mixes in a little bit better. Um, putting it at the end, like when you finish a drink, it all sits on top. So you actually want it to be a part of the mixing process. It's important. It's probably the only important thing I'll say all day. And then we'll, we'll roll it this, very much the same way. Yeah. Lovely, lovely drinks, two lovely drinks. You can see that the uh, Bloody Mary is so much more red than the Clamato. It's kind of amazing. It's just pure tomato juice, a little bit of bacon at the end. There you have it, the Bloody Mary and the Caesar. Wow, let's do it, let's do it, let's taste it. Ooh, oh my God. Spicy, that's overwhelming. Not loving the salt. It was a little overwhelming at first. I think I might have put too much. But once I actually get to the drink, it's a little bit more subtle. It's quite refreshing. It's got a little zing to the end. It's hard to say. Let's uh let's try the Caesar. It's really it's really punching the shit out of my palate. I'm, I'm not even gonna be able to be certain that I could give a, a credible critique of each drink right now. Mm, this one's much more familiar. Yeah, the true north. Mm, 
Ooh. There's just something in terms of flavor that the Caesar has that the Bloody Mary doesn't. The Bloody Mary is like a school band where all the little flavors are playing in this one dimensional way. You got the tomato, you got the Tabasco, you got the Worcester. They're sort of doing their own thing. There's nothing really bringing them all together. Whereas the Caesar, it's the clam, the other spices as well. It really fills out the taste of this cocktail. It really brings it out. It's like a whole orchestra of flavors and you can sort of hear every sound, every tingling moment on your taste bud. Try and make your way up north so you could grab some Clamato juice if you're living in the States. If you are in Canada, keep making the Caesar. It's, it's delightful. It's just too much, too much. I made too much. It, I, yeah. Oh, but if you are, if you do happen to be down in the States and you want to spice up your drink a little bit, I recommend getting something like this. This is um, Rogue's uh, Voodoo Donut Bacon Maple uh, Vodka. It's, it, it could probably make your Bloody Mary really good. It, it makes the Caesar unreal. It gives it the sweetness and it balances out perfectly. So find a bacon maple vodka somewhere. It doesn't have to be Rogue. Rogue is good, I, li I like them. They're based out of Oregon. And um, yeah, so the battle between Bloody Mary and Caesar. I know I'm super biased against this, but go with the Caesar. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.